Good morning. So we're going to start on the visual fields. So let's resume from where we left off. So I told you I need some board to teach you a little bit. So I'm here now. So let's start. So let me just show you a little bit how a visual field effect looks like. So when I said a central sequel, yes. So I told you scotoma means a non C area and C come, okay, C come refers to your blind spot, that is your optic nerve. I hope you can see what I'm writing. So it's cecum, blind spot, scotoma, right? And centro refers to your point of fixation. Yes, so point of fixation, it's your phobia or what we very, very grossly refer to as macula, right? So I hope you're following this centro sequel scotoma. So when I'm talking about, just a second, please excuse me. So when I'm talking about centro sequel scotoma, so when I'm talking about the visual field, it's always a circular field. So let me draw the field for you. Now we're going to represent the point of fixation, the cecum, and the scotoma connecting both of them. So we'll now just for instance, I'm drawing two, okay? So whenever we're talking about visual fields, we have two circles, and I must always tell you, it's as you look at it, as so it is your own field. So this is going to be your left field, and this is going to be your right field. Now don't forget this, okay? So left and right. Now let's take the example of a left optic neuritis, which is going to cause a left centrosecal scotoma, right? Now, center is always a center, yes? I'm just marking a small dot so that you know this is the point of fixation. Now, when, you, when it comes to the cecum, now where is the cecum? The optic nerve is on the nasal side of the fundus. So if something is on the nasal side of the fundus, on your field, it's going to be exactly opposite. So it's going to be on the temporal side. So because my optic nerve is on the nasal side, it's nasally located, my blind spot, the physiological blind spot, okay, the physiological blind spot is going to be temporally located. Yes, temporally located. Now, when I look at my left field, okay, so this is my left field, so this is my nose here, this is my right field, so this is my nasal field, this is my temporal field. So, where do I have my blind spot? I have it on the temporal field, right? So, this is normal. So, anybody, anybody. Any one of us is going to have this kind of a field left and on the right, it's going to be on the temporal, it's going to be here, right? So this is how anybody's field is going to look like, okay? Anybody's field is going to look like this with the blind spots, although you may not be aware of it and that is why we call it as a negative scotoma. Now coming to the centrosecal scotoma back again. Now I have the cecum here, I have the central here. So there is a scotoma like this. Yes, so this is a very big area where the patient cannot see. So this is my left field. So I'm representing a left optic neuritis car visual field defect, which is a left central cecal scotoma. So a non seen area extending between the point of fixation that is a phobia to the blind spot. I hope you got this right. So that is optic neuritis. And optic neuritis is usually a unilateral condition. So we usually end up like this. Okay. Now suppose you're given a field like this. So when you have a bilateral centrosecal scotoma. Now bilateral centrosecal scotoma, I told you, it's very, very typical of a vitamin B12 deficiency. All right. So I'm just extending a little talk, my little talk on what I talked about in the previous video. Okay. So I talked about centrosecal scotoma, unilateral and bilateral. Now the next thing that I talked to you was about AIOM, yes, anterior ischemic optic neuropathy, right? So in AION, I told you there is an inferior altitudinal hemianopia, right? Inferior altitudinal hemianopia. Now what does this mean? So I told you anopia, opia is vision, 
anatopia no vision hemi is half field so in one half of the field there's no vision now which half is that so it's going to be the inferior attitude so it's going to be the inferior hemisphere now let's say i have a right ai okay right ai my left is going to be normal so left will have its physiological blind spot and this is going to be my right field so right i'm going to have an inferior altitudinal hemianopia so this is inferior altitudinal hemianopia where you have and the inferior hemisphere is not visible to the patient i hope this is just clear to you now don't worry about whether it is antiretic or non antiretic just remember this all that they're going to ask you is a i o n come field effect now now let's go to the next step right what is a central scope a central scope means where you want to see if you're not able to see you see a blind spot big black spot there that's called a central scope of see scope of is a non seeing area so at your point of fixation if you're not able to see that's called a central scope of it can occur in epicuritis as well but it's very very classical of macular disorders so this patient apart from say this patient has uh, say a left only a left side arnd i mean it's uh, usually arnd is bilateral i'm just giving you an example patient has a left side in arnd so what is he going to have there's going to be when you chart it it's going to there is always going to be a blind spot okay that's physiological but that's a negative scotoma patient is just not aware that he has scotoma whereas the patient will have a big black spot on where he wants to see do you understand what is a central scotoma so now the classical description by the patient himself would be he would say doctor sir if i want to look at your face okay i want to see your face i can't see there's a big black the bar i that i can see but if i really want to see your face i'm going to switch if i see somewhere aju baju around you then i can see your chair so what does he mean so if he wants to target your face there's one big this big black dabba that is going to come in front of him because there is a central scotoma so if he shifts his position somewhere else and i come into his peripheral field so he gets to see my face so that is central scotoma all right hope you got this now any time there is a macular disorder not only arnd any Yes, can cause a central scotoma, but there's always an associated finding or a symptom that the patient complains of. That is metamorphopsia, which is a distorted vision. If I look at this board, okay, I'm looking at this board. Now I see a rectangular one with straight lines and straight corners, but this patient will have a wavy line. So that is what is described as. metamorphopsia so a combination of central scotoma and metamorphopsia is typically characteristic of macular disorders right so i'm going to stop here i'll resume on a little shorter video little by little